you on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. I'm a little choked up right now. On day three, I hiked 20.3 miles. I passed through Tesnady, Hogpen, and Chattahoochee Gaps and the Blue Mountain and set up camp near Unicoi Gap. Morning. It's a cold, windy morning. All layered up here. But I've been hiking for a while and Getting a little too warm, so I'm going to take off some layers. Keep on going, but that was a beautiful sunrise this morning. The legs are feeling that 24 miles yesterday, but <clears throat> slow and steady wins the race, right? participating in my first trail magic here we have todd and guy they're out here quite Hello, regularly hey. i'm having some hot cocoa but they're uh making some burgers some hot dogs they've got coffee donuts all sorts of stuff they say uh, how often do you guys come out here i try to get here once or twice a week yeah, once, twice but week. we have friends from our like our journey group our church group that come out and, sure. um, and you know just want to get back sure uh, Life's been good to us. Yeah, God's God's been good blessed to us, us so. man. We gotta get back. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm a little choked up right now. Before I was leaving those guys doing trail magic there, they asked if they could pray for me. I said, yeah. Man. I felt it. I needed that. It's been a hard morning. Thanks, guys. Made it to Chattahoochee Gap. The trail, for the most part, was pretty easy um, for the last seven, eight miles. I think I have like 2.3 miles left to go to where it's just camp tonight. It's a little windy up here. stop here have a little late lunch I can't decide I keep on thinking I should take my pants off but then it gets cold and I get hot I don't know what to do rough I got it real rough all right time for some chips and some beef sticks I made it to the Blue Mountain Shelter this is where I had planned to camp tonight however it's pretty cold out it's pretty windy Tonight it's supposed to get really cold, probably down to like 25. With this wind up here, might be a little, a little nippy. So I'm gonna keep on going here. It's probably about three o'clock. Um, there isn't any place to camp probably for the next couple miles because I'm going down a mountain. But there's a big parking lot at the bottom of this before you go back up a mountain uh, tomorrow. So. I uh, got a bunch of water back there, really cambled up, and uh, I'm going to find just a camp spot down here. My uh, legs are feeling all right. Once you get out of that wind, it's nice, but in that wind, boom. All right, let's go. So every campsite isn't a gorgeous mountain view. Came down to uh, the road crossing here. The mountain goes straight back up, and I'm not sure if there's going to be any good spots for camping because on the way down in this other mountain, there really wasn't. So uh, I am right next to the highway, right up there. 
and uh, there's garbage all over the place down here. But I'm gonna set up here. I think it'll be warmer than uh, going up on that mountain and my feet are worn out and ready to be done. So we'll make it work. All I gotta do is sleep, right? Making dinner for tonight. It's gonna be biscuits and gravy. Sitting here in the hammock, trying to stay warm. Looks like I gotta boil. On day four, I hiked 16.7 miles. I walked past Indian Grave, Trey, Deep, and Dick's Creek Gaps before settling into Hostel Around the Bend. Good morning, friends. It's a cool morning here. Oh, in the 20s, I got a 20 mile per hour wind. Just start out the day with a thousand foot climb up. Now I'm on top of that. Go down a thousand feet, then I get to go back up 1500 feet. Living the dream. I made it to Deep Gap. I have about 3.6 miles to go today, and at the end of that 3.6, I have a hostel and a shower and a bed and food. So Looking forward to that, but uh, it's warmed up here a little bit. Just stopped and having some lunch. Ah, it's going kind of slow today, I'm not going to lie. My feet hurt, my knees hurt. Looking forward to getting into town and uh, checking out the hostel and uh, taking it easy a little bit. But uh, it was cold this morning. I'm still walking by all these little ice crystals that are uh, uh, sticking up. My water just thawed out and doesn't have ice in it now and it's uh 1 30 in the afternoon so all right i need to uh keep on going I'm running kind of low on water i keep on getting to these places where this says it's water and then i look a little bit farther and it's like three tenths of a mile down a hill and i'm like i don't want to do that it's kind of like if you're driving along a freeway there's one of those blue signs that says, you know, there's a McDonald's at the next exit. I'm sorry, if I don't see the golden arches from the highway, I'm not stopping. So, kind of the same thing here. I don't really want to put in a whole lot of effort to get uh, off the trail to get water unless I absolutely have to. stopped here it's only about a mile until the end of my hike but it's a lot of water I hadn't filtered any water since yesterday afternoon so don't want to get too dehydrated here I'm not gonna fill up both my water bottles but drink a whoop, drink a half a liter here bring uh, another 700 milliliters with me and call it good Turned out to be a beautiful afternoon here after that cold start, windy start. Uh, when, when the wind isn't blowing now, it's beautiful. I made it out to the highway here. It's 0.6 miles down the road here to my hostel. I text them. It's only about 45 minutes ago, and then I lost cell service telling them that I'd be here. Uh, but I'm here about 15 minutes earlier than I thought I would be, so no idea if they got it, no idea if they're coming. I'm just gonna start walking. It's only 0.6. They got a free shuttle, some other guys were waiting for. Hey, look at that piece of shit. Look at that piece of shit. Aren't you on YouTube?
Yeah, I am. I'm kind of a big deal. Oh, wow. How are you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you? Surprise guest! The one and only Rob Pelton. Just meeting me here at, around the band hostel. It's a cool sign saying how many miles. Only 2,119.6 miles to Mount Katahdin. I will not be going that far. All right, I am not in the woods. Got to the hostel there and um, my resupply didn't come. Caught a ride into town, went to the post office. The Atlanta post office is messed up and my resupply didn't come. So grabbing some groceries here and I'm actually changing some other plans where I have a shuttle that is gonna be picking me up tomorrow morning and taking me up to my next hostel and I'm just gonna finish the last 91 miles. Uh, but I'm gonna do it in six days instead of the five that I had planned. So that means that I need more food. Just, I wanna cut back on mileage, um, enjoy the trip a little bit. So I gotta find some food and then uh, get back to the hostel. I made it back to the hostel. I have a private room here and it is amazing. So uh, yeah, I got all my gear, bought all my food for the next trip. Gears down here, spread out. Took a nice hot shower. Doing my laundry right out there right now. Bought pizza, have some orange juice. So yeah, I mean, I guess you gotta be flexible if uh, things don't work out. Um, you know, I, I'm just gonna get that shuttle up tomorrow to my next hostel and then hike 91 miles over six days instead of four and a half days. That way I'll be cutting my mileage down to about 15 miles a day instead of doing 20 or 21 or 22 mile days, which uh, my legs aren't in shape for doing. So it all works out. Um, this way I will be able to hike at my own pace. My car is right at the end of where my hike is. So uh, it'll all work out, but uh, I'm gonna take a zero tomorrow, being that uh, my shuttle's gonna come here uh, about 11 o'clock, won't get up there till one and just hang out until the next day and hit it in the morning. So I don't know, I'll probably shoot some video tomorrow. It'll be exciting, but. Good morning, friends. Just getting up from my nice, cozy, warm bed at the hospital. I'm gonna head in and get some breakfast. Good morning. Where are you from? What did you say? Where are you from? I'm from Nebraska, but that was a restaurant in Austin that I was working at. Austin, Texas? Yep. On day five, I shuttled up to Stokoa Gap. I skipped from mile 69.4 up to 150.8. After resupplying, I walked 5.4 miles up Jacob's Ladder and past Brown Fork Gap and set up camp at Goaty Gap. Oh yeah, made it to the Stokoa Wolf Creek Hostel. My shuttle was great, a guy named Jim got here. Uh, the caretaker uh, shadow, uh, multiple time through hiker of the AT here. We were chatting and he kind of talked me into maybe, instead of staying overnight here, that I take off uh, tonight and camp like three miles up the trail. It's super nice outside and I can tell he's just itching and kind of jealous wishes he could go out. So um, legs are feeling good, took a shower got all cleaned up, got my resupply box, repacked my bag. I'm all set for about six days if I need that much uh, to get to the end of the trail. But since I'm eating a pizza here, 
I shouldn't have to eat once I get to camp. Um, so that'll make things easier. And uh, I will see you back out on the trail. All right, back on the trail. Whew, I ate that whole pizza. All right, walking along the road here just for a little bit. Construction area crosses over, goes into the woods, but it's gotten super smoky. And uh, nobody really knows what it's from. Supposedly it's from a far, long ways away, but it's pretty thick. So hopefully that doesn't uh, affect the air as I'm climbing this big hill. Oh, that's quite the way to start the hike. Look at all these steps. Construction. Detour. Yeah, I'm not going that way. All right. This is more like it. I hiked in about two and a half miles. I came to the Brown Fork Gap Shelter. It's about six o'clock. Had to go up this big hill, which sucks as usual. But man, I was coming back down a steep hill and my knee, right knee's really hurt. I was gonna plan on going up farther tonight because it's really nice out. It's against all my DNA to stop right now. But my knee hurts. I was gonna take a zero today. I think I need to remember this is a marathon, not a sprint, and go to the shelter. Even though every ounce of my body wants to keep on going. Walked down to the shelter, had a quick conversation with some people down there, real nice. But I gotta answer my pants, man, I can't stop. This is dumb, but I'm doing it anyway. Back hiking again and it actually feels pretty good because I'm not going downhill. You know, it's just the real steep downhill. My right knee, it's the same knee that I hurt when I slipped on the ice up in the Boundary Waters in November. But uh, I've never had this before, so we're in kind of unknown territory, but you know, going up a little steep hill like this, doesn't seem so bad anymore. Hiking along here looking for a campsite. It's getting dark. But I saw this sign. It's got to be the most interesting sign that I've seen along the whole trail. The tree has grown around the sign. Ho, ho something. Ho de do, I'm coming. I made it to camp. There's about four other tents down here. I'm out hanging my bear bag right now. It's always an adventure when I hang my bear bag. Up on a hill, probably a quarter of a mile away from camp because I couldn't find any branches that were very good. I'm on a hill here, so this, this is off the ground eight feet, but I've never had this much food. The whole bag is full. Got the Doritos sitting on top there. <sighs> And then I'm thinking, boy, that went smooth. You know, it only took me like three tries to get it up over the branch. I'm going to take a picture and show a video of what my bear bag looks like. I reached for my pocket and my phone's missing. It's dark out. My phone was buried down in these leaves. Luckily, I found it right away. That could have been bad. I didn't bring my headlamp up here either. But I could have just seen me having to look for my phone for an hour in the dark and the leaves but so why did i keep on walking well it's dark here so this is kind of hard um i have a hard time sleeping if i don't get a good physical activity in every night um i go to the gym i work out every day i'm on prescriptions for helping me sleep but exercise does better so when that resupply didn't come, that has some of my prescription sleep medication in it. So I didn't want to just go get groceries or else I wouldn't have been able to sleep. So I came up to my next box. I have my medications, I can keep on hiking. But it's been a roller coaster here, um, emotionally, physically. Uh, it felt good to get this 
five miles in hiking, even when my knee hurts a little bit, uh, to give me a little bit more confidence and I should be able to sleep better tonight. So, oop, tree there. Anyway, I gotta put my phone away because I can't see where I'm going in the dark here. We'll see you tomorrow. Tune in next week for days six and seven when I enter the Smokies and the weather turns bad. This sucks. <laughs>